The Borg Sphere, as it was designated by Starfleet, was a ball-shaped vessel that the Borg used primarily as a long-range tactical vessel or scout ship. During a battle of Sector 001 in 2373, a Borg Sphere was also deployed as a lifeboat vessel when it was launched through an air on a Borg cube shortly before the cube was destroyed. This sphere was then able to travel back in time by emitting chronometric particles to create a temporal vortex. At approximately 600 meters in diameter, and with a crew complement of roughly 11,000 drones, a Borg sphere was much smaller than a small common Borg cube, but it possessed many of the same attributes and technology. The outer hull of the Borg sphere was made by largely from polytronic and titanium alloys, while the interior was a mixture of organic and mechanical elements that gave an appearance almost like that of arteries and organs outwind around circuitry. <coughs> Borg spheres were armed with powerful projectile and energy weapons, which had rapidly adjustable frequencies, meaning they could quickly penetrate a ship's shields. The Borg's preferred method of attack, however, was to hold a target vessel in a powerful tractor beam and render it defenseless by training its shields. A high-energy cutting beam would then be used to slice into the ship and remove entire sections of it. The reason for this was because the Borg wanted to assess and assimilate new technologies, and they could not do this if they completely destroyed the ship. Generative shields that constantly remodulated their frequency and adapted to resist enemy fire. Once Borg shields had adapted, standard phases and photon torpedoes on Starfleet vessels had almost no effect on them, but just a few quantum torpedoes could be enough to destroy a Borg sphere. Cubes. The spheres were highly decentralized in structure with no specific command center or engineering sections. All vital systems had multiple redundant power sources spread throughout the ship, meaning the sphere was highly resistant to damage and systems failures. as much as 70%, 78% of it was inoperable. Even if a vital system was damaged, the drones on board could work collectively to repair it at an astonishing rate. I go in like that, I guess. inside the box spheres were optimized for the drones with the temperatures set around precisely at 39.1 degrees, 92% humidity and atmospheric pressure of 2 kilopascals. Most of the interior of the box sphere was taken up with row upon row of regeneration alcoves with the drones recharged or restored before they were activated for a specific task. When the drones were in an alcove, they did not register. As in Starfleet census is an individual life form. This was partially because at the heart of each Borg ship was a processing device called a vaniculum that used to try and neural matrix to connect all of the minds of the drones, eliminating individual thoughts and disseminating information throughout the collective. 
Likewise, the central plexus was a device on all bog vessels that linked it to every other bog ship. Other areas of a bog sphere included assimilation chambers where captured individuals were assimilated into the bog collective. This brutal procedure involved the victim being stabbed by assimilation tubules and prompted full of bog nanoprobes. Before being laid out on a platform where various limbs and organs were amputated and replaced with bog prosthetics. Also on board bog spheres were transwarp chambers which contained several transwarp coils. These transwarp coils were the key component that allowed bog vessels to travel at speeds of at least 20 times greater than were possible with a standard warp drive. These coils were able to open an artificially created conduit or corridor in the realm of other subspace known as transwarp space, which the ship could then travel through at incredible speeds. By 2373, the Borg had created six structures known as transwarp hubs that linked thousands of transwarp conduits, whose exits were in every quadrant of the galaxy. One, trans one such transport hub was hidden within a nebula in the Delta Quadrant and allowed Borg vessels to travel almost anywhere in the galaxy in a matter of minutes. side of it. 